This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. We are at Padre Island National Seashore in Texas. Now I'd like to say it's sunny today, but it's not. It's actually quite windy and very cloudy, but it is sandy and wavy, so it's kind of cool. We're down here hanging out at the beach for a couple days. Uh, very beautiful, having fun. It's nice and warm out, especially for December, kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be doing some jumping here now. I do need to apologize if you pick up some wind on my microphone. It is very windy out here, and microphones don't work very well with wind normally. So you have that. And also me jumping on sand is a little bit more challenging, but it just shows that jump rope can be done just about anywhere. Now for the JV, we're going to be doing a heel catch, which means the rope's going to come over. I'm going to catch it under my heel, pop it back over, and jump forward. It's a good way to change direction. And for the varsity, we'll be covering the inverse TJ, which is a uh, cross a little bit different than the regular TJ, but it looks kind of cool when you add it into a combination. The JV skill. For the JV skill, we're going to be doing a foot catch reverse. Well, what I'll be doing is I'll be starting with a backward jump. Uh, basically what it'll look like when we're finished, we'll be jumping backwards, catch, and then turn and jump forward. Now, it looks pretty simple, but it's kind of a cool trick to do once you get it at about that speed. But the, what we're going to do is you're going to start backwards. The rope's going to come over your head. What you're going to want to do is pick whichever foot you want to use to kick with. You can do either your right foot or your left foot. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use my right foot. I'm going to slide my foot back pick up my heel and the important thing here is keep your toe on the ground so you keep the toe on the ground you don't want to lift that at all or this isn't going to work so you keep your toe on the ground just lift your heel so it's going to come over lift my heel catch the rope once it's caught under here all I'm going to do is just pull it tight once it's pulled tight you take your foot kick it over and now you're going forward so once again you're going to be backwards comes over catch catch here kick it and bring it back over. Now if you're going slow, first time you try it, you jump, catch, kick, and then jump forward. And once more, we go backwards here, catch, make sure it's nice and tight, kick it, and go forward. Now if you go a little faster, you go over, catch, kick, and forward. And then once you get it to full speed, you go over, it just kind of hits, and as soon as it hits, boom, pop it right back over. So it's kind of a cool way to change direction. Maybe you're jumping forward, turn, do it, catch it, kick it over. So if I'm going maybe forward this direction, turn, jump this way, and jump that way. So it's a good way to change direction kind of quickly. It's kind of cool too, because not a lot of people do it very well where they're going kind of fast. So you want to work on it so you can get it. So it goes nice and quick, comes over, hits your foot, boom, jump it forward, and you're ready to go. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing an inverse TJ. Now, if you remember the regular TJ, it goes side swing, toed, and open. It's a triple under trick. The inverse TJ, you're going to go side swing, inverse toed, and then back out. Once you do it in the air, it's going to look like this. And out. So the way you're going to do this is, first of all, you want to make sure you can do your inverse toed very easily. And the inverse toed, regular toed, is a cross under your leg, right arm under left leg or left arm under right leg. What it's going to be, inverse of that, right arm goes under your right leg from the outside, crosses under this way, and cross over with that arm. If you're doing it with your left side, same thing, left arm goes from the outside and under. So what you'll do to do this is you're going to do a side swing. If I'm going to go under my right leg, I'm going to side swing on my left. If I go under my left leg, I'm going to side swing on my right. So from here, I'm going to go side swing left, bring it over right here, swing this leg out, jump it here, bring it out, and land in a regular jumping position. Now, the important thing when you do this is a lot of times it's hard if you try to keep your body straight. Go jump and then keep your body all the way straight here to do this cross. It's rather difficult. So what I tend to do, and a lot of people do when they do this trick, is you're going to go side swing. When you go under, you're going to want to actually shift your body weight a little bit this direction. So this leg, I'm going to kind of twist my hip a little bit, cross it here. When I come out, then I straighten back out again. So you'll see it when I do it in the air. I go up and down. I twist my body just a little bit, pull it out, and land forward. So once again, you want to make sure that you're doing it. Your side swing here. You're jumping right when you're going to this position. Up 
twist your body a little bit, get that cross. And as with any type of crossing trick, the bigger you cross, the easier this is going to be. If you try to do a little cross like this, it's not going to work. You want to really reach, get under, bring the rope under you, out, and you're ready to jump. So once more, kind of hard to do in the sand. Let's see if we get this. Here we go. And out. And so you can do that on both sides. It works well in a combination. Maybe regular TJ, inverse TJ, um, Jami, triple under CL, different things like that. Mix it up, have some fun with it, but it's a good trick to add into a combination. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.